Directional films, which is some real color wizardry. 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 Speaking of wizards, we're both wizards, right? We are. Hogwarts Harry alumni. Potter. Team Slytherin. Hufflepuff. 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 Even though all your stuff is Gryffindor. Well, because that's all they sell is Gryffindor. That's true, that's true. Well, Nobody likes Hufflepuff. It, I know, but according to online, I'm a Hufflepuff. <laughs> so, aside from the Harry Potter, <laughs> what are we wrapping today? Uh, right now, we have a GTI. We are wrapping it in the Avery Gloss Urban Jungle. Um, a lot of fun. It's, it's, been, it's been fun going from KPMF to, to this. this. <laughs> like and it matches here. your hair. Well, it does every match my angle hair perfectly. is like, Look. I see purple and I see green. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you could see it then. <laughs> but anyways, uh, let's start talking about directional film, yeah? Yeah, let's do it. Just let me stand in your rain. So directional film, let's chat. Welcome to my color room, guys. Um, so directional film, I don't even know how to explain this. Basically, it means that um, if you put the color one way, it looks a certain way, and if you put the color the other way and shift the panel, uh, so you wrap a panel upside down or something, uh, you get a different color, uh, or a different shade of the color, or a different effect. Um, so you have to be really conscious of that and aware that there are directional films. Um, some people argue that all films are directional. I don't think that's entirely true. Um, the least directional films that you're going to encounter is going to be flat colors. So like straight flat colors like this. There's no special finish, there's no metallic, there's no anything. It's, it's pretty basic, it's a flat yellow. Um, and opaque colors which are slightly see-through. Um, those usually you're not going to encounter problems with directionality. Okay. Basically, the best rule of thumb is the crazier it gets, the more directional it's going to be. So once you move into colors like uh, metallics, um, like this, super metallics especially, right here, these are going to be directional. And it has something to do with um, how they make the film and the pigments or the sparkle in it. So um, these you're going to have directional issues with. Uh, pearls. Pearls, definitely, you can have problems with uh, directionality. It's like these kind of pearl colors like this. Um, and then the biggest ones, which is kind of newer to the market, is gonna be the um, shade shifting colors. So what we're using on that GTI right now is this Gloss Urban Jungle. Any of these shade shifting chameleon colors, whatever you wanna call them, they usually have multiple colors in it. If you turn this film sideways, it's gonna have a different effect. So you have to keep that in mind when you're wrapping. You're usually gonna use more film because it's directional um, and you can only orient your panels one way. So you wanna keep that in mind, but the best rule of thumb if you wanna avoid costly mistakes is to just cut stuff as if it was directional. That's the best way to go. So it's a measure twice, cut once, do it right the first time. Don't risk turning a panel just to save yourself 10 inches on your roll of film um, and you'll be safe. So, um, We've wrapped this in the Gloss Urban Jungle. This is the Avery Color Flow, so keep in mind it's definitely directional. It's got lots of colors in it, green, purples, blues, a little bit of grays in there even as well. Um, so I'm just gonna kind of demonstrate what directionality looks like when you're doing it wrong. Um, so I made these horribly miscut uh, octagons. <laughs> I think they're octagons, there's eight sides. Um, so what I did is I actually put an up arrow um, for whichever way is facing up. And with Avery, their newer stuff has uh, print on the back of their lining, so it makes it really easy to know which direction's up. But when I'm cutting all my panels beforehand, I always just do it out of habit. I'll mark this on the back of the film and put an up arrow so I know what direction I need to install that vinyl. 
Um, and like I said, I actually do this with all of my films, just you know, better safe than sorry, because you might get a film that you don't think is directional and it ends up being directional and you screwed yourself over because you had a panel turned. So keep that in mind. So this first one, I'm just gonna install it upright, how it's supposed to be. And if I install the door right, then it should just disappear. Yeah, disappear. So you can see it, it blends in seamlessly. The color is all good no matter what way you look at it. Okay, so the next one, I'm gonna install upside down. Um, so the backing in this case would be upside down. You cannot flip uh, shade shifts upside down. They still will not match up. Still the same colors and everything, but it looks completely different, right? Next, we're gonna do another one and I'm going to place that one facing the front. So we've got backing going this way instead of this way. So the last one, I'm gonna turn it towards the back. So I've got the liner pointing back towards the bumper right now. And sometimes this color flow, it's not gonna be super obvious like this bottom one down here that's just totally looks different. Sometimes you can't even see it in the shop um, when you've installed it incorrectly. It's when you pull it outside and it's in a certain lighting um, that you really, really notice it. So sometimes you'll see cars with shade shift wraps and like one door or a fender or something. You can tell it's just a slightly different shade. That's because they twisted the material 90 degrees instead of installing it all facing upright. So this one, I don't know if you can see in the camera, it definitely looks like a different green to me, no matter like which way I come around it. And it's just slightly off. Even though it's the same color, it's a different shade. So you wanna make sure all your panels down one side are all facing up. When I do my other side, I make sure they're all facing up. The bumpers and the trunk, I make them all face up. And as well as the hood, so the hood will face the roof. Um, and then when I do the rooftop, I usually make it match with my driver's side. So the up would be pointing towards the passenger side, if that makes sense. If that got confusing, I'm sorry, but um, if you guys wanna hear a little more technical information on directionality, um, all of the material manufacturers will mention it if they have cool colors. Um, you can definitely check out Avery's link. I will post that below for you guys. And uh, Fellers as well. Fellers, um, usually for all their films, they let you know if something's directional or if it's opaque. They always warn you up front um, so they're not liable. But uh, yeah, another cool thing I wanna bring up since we're doing a gloss install, a lot of people have problems with like gloss, um, having orange peel or mottling or haze, things like that. Um, if you guys have been watching our episodes, you saw we recently did a private PPF training. Uh, so we got our pressure on demand steamer, which is right here. Um, so I've actually been using this a lot to post heat instead of, um, you know, an IR heater or a torch or a heat gun or whatever. I'll normally hit the edges with the heat gun, but I've actually been um, steaming the entire surface. That usually gets rid of a lot of the haze and fog or the orange pill that you get. So if you guys have a steamer, definitely use it on glosses. It really, really helps with your color. Um, and I just get the steamer going. Basically run it like that the whole time. Um, I've also been using this for removals and it's been absolutely fantastic for both clear bra and vinyl. Uh, if you guys are interested, it is the pressure on demand steamer. Basis. Where do you follow us at? Instagram, YouTube channel. What's our names? A uh, rap sesh AZ. And Vinyl Vixen. And Vinyl Vixen Ew. apps. Nobody likes her. Ew. She's the Ew. worst. Nobody likes her. Uh, make sure to like, like, and uh, like, comment, and subscribe to our like. stuff. Because we're really cool. Don't don't dislike it, because that's just mean. Oh my mean. god. Nobody likes being don't mean. Don't be rude. Don't be rude. That's so rude. <laughs> and uh, I guess we'll see you guys next week. Yeah? Yeah. Ew. <laughs>